Hello. To adjust it slightly. Um, my name is Mark. I'm with the Struggling Six. Putting this on the Struggling Six channel. Um, first off, I need a haircut. <laughs> um, second off, yeah, okay, that mic's working. Um, so back again with the weekly themes. This time doing face cam. Um, I've been doing so the the theme is Thanksgiving, and um, that that's I've been doing these videos for a few years now. Um, these being videos for what I'm giving thanks for. In each one, I choose one thing um, or one general concept. Because I mean, I'm of course I'm thankful for the bed, like my, my bed, roof over my head, the fact that I have a computer, um, food on the table. I can go down and get myself like a granola bar right now. Um, they're things everyone's thankful for, whether they conscious, I, I guess no one really always consciously doesn't take them for granted, but I mean, there are several nights where I, and I'm sure every other person does this, where they lie in bed and like, you know what, I'm glad that I have a bed to sleep in tonight, I'm glad that I have a roof over my head, stuff like that. I'm grateful for my family, my friends, of course, um, but in this video, last year I talked about, that was last year as the first one I uploaded. And I took it down about a week later just because it was Thanksgiving thing. But I talked about internet. Um, why I was thankful for the internet. Today, I want to talk about memories. Um, um, the last year's video was modeled after what was called the Strip Down Challenge. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's like people talk about themselves for 10 minutes without editing or whatever. I put a blue background that looks like Windows XP or something. Um, just so it wasn't as boring, but pretty much if I'm not going to cut too much, I'm not going to restart. I did already do this, but only got like the first two minutes, um, which is really annoying. So memories, um, I had a struggle explaining what I meant. Um, so hopefully I can get it more efficiently across this time. Um, overall, I mean, good and happy memories and positive memories. Um, just recently... Um, I was in a, a play, and I auditioned, and I got in. One of the best decisions of my life, easily. Um, I'm just trying to word this. I, I'm never going to be with that same group of people ever again. Um, I mean, sure, we could all get together, but I mean in the same setting, um, the same time, place, like stuff like that. Next time the fall play rolls around, um, some actors who are older are going to be gone. They're going to be new actors, some same actors, um, different directors, stuff like that. Uh, a student-directed play. Um, but it's never going to be the same group of people. And I look back, and I'm glad that I made the decision to join that group of people because it is a place where I felt as though I belonged most. And specifically, I'm thankful for making that decision, uh, for being accepted into that group. But overall, it inspired me to make this year's topic memories. Um, good memories. For example, if I'm having a bad time or I'm feeling alone and it inspires more negative thoughts, um, it's a memory I can look back to and think of a good time. <laughs> like, like, smile. Um, be like, oh yeah, that was... Oh, man, I really had fun. Oh yeah, that Tuesday when we did this... Um, it's it's something to look back on. Memories are there to help us. Sure, there's a whole thing about memories and learning. Um, I mean, I'm thankful for the essential basics of memory. Like if I punch someone, they're like, "Ah, that hurt." Uh, punching is a bad example. Um, if I threw a ball at a window and the window broke, I then have the memory that windows break when you throw balls at them, and then um, that like I'm never gonna throw another ball at a window or else it's gonna break. So. Of course, there's that, but I'm, I just mean the overall, like, mm, good memories. Uh, I already lost myself. Um, another thing was that I was thinking, I, I don't write bullets for any of this, but I was thinking of it before. Um, people live on in memories. If you have a friend or a good family member who has passed away or has gone somewhere. They're not, I mean, they're gone, but they still live on in you. Y you point to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, they're going to be there 
un until either you forget about them, which you probably won't, or until you you're gone. Um, history books are in a sense a shared memory, right? Actually, no, I'm going to take a step back. Um, if you and two other friends, let's say I'm going with um, eraser and pencil. This is dumb. And we went to the park, right? And we all ran around in circles, right? Eraser has the memory with eraser, pencil, and me. I have memory, you know, you get that. We all have memory together. Let's say eraser one day is gone for one reason or another. Me and pencil have a shared memory, right? That day at the park. Um, and so I'm thankful that memories allow people to live on in us, in other people. Um, shared memories, if you have a bad time and you share that bad time with someone, there you have something to talk about. Something, someone to talk about that thing with. Um, in a sense, history books are those shared memories. Um, you learn that, I mean, every book is a shared memory, I guess, but you learn that Gregor Mendel used peas, right? I mean, sure, it's a dumb memory, but... He lives on. Gregor Mendel is known as the guy who discovered alleles and did this huge experiment with peas and just, like, coined the terms alleles and all that stuff with DNA. Um, and we all know that. And so the fact that maybe I'm sitting here right now and the fact that maybe someone out in the world is thinking about me or I'm thinking about someone else at this moment, which I'm thinking about whoever may be watching this, um, I'll think of someone. There, I thought of someone. Um, someone who brings on a more of a happy tone, as opposed to someone who brings on a sad tone. But, like, I'm glad that... Oh, I lost myself. Um, I think I was doing a good job, but I lost myself. They're there when... Yeah, memories are there to support you. I'm trying to think. I'm happy that they exist. I mean, it, this is a really weird topic to choose. I don't think it would be this difficult to stay on track, but hey, here we are. Um, ah, all right, I'm just going to branch off. Whatever. Whatever I was thinking about is gone. Um, objects. Let's talk about objects for a second. This pencil is, well, it's a pencil. But if I told you my best friend who moved to Europe two and a half years ago gave me this pencil, then it's got a lot more meaning. A friend of mine didn't give me this pencil. I think I found it on the hallway in the school. But um, in a sense, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to be deep and profoundly sentimental. But um, it's not working out, so <laughs> uh, i got to keep on the track of memories. Oh. And I kind of got my point across in the sense, the, the biggest thing is, the biggest two things are looking back and being like, oh man, like really bad day to day and oh, whatever. But, but hey, like I was with a really great group of people like a week ago, we had a really good time. Oh yeah, I think of that memory like brings you up a bit. Um, working on an assignment, oh, I'm so bored. It's working on an assignment. Like, uh, I'm so, I want to have to do this. And then, you can think back to when the last assignment you worked on got a really good, um, I guess, good grade for you on it. And you're like, you know what? If I try even harder, I can do better and I can do great things. Um, and in a sense, that's a learning concept. Like, learn that if you try this hard, you get this. So if you try harder, you'll get further, in a sense. Um, and then the second thing was living on. Um, I had a grandfather who passed away when I was about four. So I, I, I don't remember him, but um, I've seen pictures. Um, he lives on through other members of my family. Um, still tell stories about him. Um, and I'm grateful for the fact that although I might not have been able to be in a conscious state where I could have met my grandfather, um, I, I, I have a, a basic sense of who he is and where I came from. Um, but I think that's it. I think I'm gonna end that here. If you want to talk about object significance, we can do that. Um, I'm so tempted to talk. Uh, pff, I'm not going to though. Keep it under ten minutes. It's under nine fifty-two right now. Um, yeah. 
this year, of course, I'm thankful for everything, but this year specifically, um, I'm really thankful for memories. Um, just that they exist, that I can look back on them, what they mean to me. And um, also, sorry, last thing. In a sense, it's weird to state memories, but it's about the people, the place, the what. I mean, if I had a memory with some really great people in a really great place, but something really bad happened, then it's not really a good memory to look back on. Um, but if you're in a like a really great place, uh, really good people, and something really great happens, like it's your birthday and people are celebrating your birthday and you get a laser tag or something, then it's a great memory to look back and be like, yeah, you know, fun times. Um, so I'm trying to communicate. I have a subconscious thought that I can't put into words say why I'm thankful for memories themselves, but I, I, I kind of ranted and spewed, spewed out information about it, and um, tis all, tis all, so thanks for watching, um, any questions, let me know, if you want me to talk about object significance, let me know, <laughs> so dumb, I don't know why I did that, but uh, yeah, so, 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 so counter, I'm not editing this, so, oh my god, thank you for watching, um, make sure to check out the other videos that come out throughout the week. I um, believe Becca's already uploaded hers. I think Meg uploaded hers. Some of them were uploaded last week on the 50 Facts About Me. If you haven't seen mine, check it out. If you haven't seen their others, check it out. Yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.